Are you wondering what attraction marketing is all about? One thing I can tell you though, it is not about flashing yourself with a picture next to a big huge house or a, Lamborg a Lamborghini or whatever car or anything that is not yours, pretending that you have something that you don't have. This is not what attraction marketing is. However, it is a powerful tool, a powerful strategy to use indeed. So in this episode number 115, I'm going to share with you what attraction marketing is, as well as the seven, top, the seven attraction marketing strategies that top earners are actually using to grow their business. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from thierryvalexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online that attracts the best qualified leads into your business so that you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing, my friend, because each and every single week I do create a new video training and also you get access to a freebie of some sort, a cheat sheet, a guide, a PDF that is there helping you to empower you within your business so you can move the needle closer to the achievement of your goals. This week, I want to share with you what attraction marketing is all about, how it works and the components that are really making it possible for you to attract the best qualified leads into your business, like I've just said, right? So what is attraction marketing? I literally just said it. It is a strategy that attracts the best potential customers into your business by providing value upfront of what can solve their problem thanks to the product and the solution you are offering. So it could be products, opportunities, services. Now, there are some elements, there are some components that we should think we have to think about to make attraction marketing work. So here we go. Let's dive into it. The first one is personal branding. The leaders that are using the attraction marketing strategy actually brand themselves upfront rather than the company or the product that they are representing. The reason for doing this is that first and foremost, people buy into people. They are not buying into opportunities or products or services. They buy into you first and foremost. And then also whatever happens into this company that you're representing or this product that you are marketing, promoting, which is not yours, whatever happened if you leave that company, if you are, uh, if the company shuts down, if whatever happened, then by building, branding yourself first, you don't have to explain to anybody the reason why you've actually left or start over uh, with a new company, why you left an old company and, and starting over with a new one. So personal branding is huge and so important. The second element of attraction marketing when done well is that you are not spamming or pitching people. You are actually providing value upfront, as we said, and you are attracting people for them to ask you more information about what you've got going on, what you do, what you're offering, what you are selling. Attraction marketing is in no way about putting products and names of companies all over the place and your represented website link telling people buy from me, join me, that is going to repel them rather than attract them to you. I used to, ex I used to do exactly that in the past as in like spamming my own personal timeline and trust me when I say that it did hurt my business and my credibility in the marketplace. So if it's you doing this right now, putting only product posts and opportunity posts, call me, tag me, uh, PM me, etc. No worries, there is hope. If I can do it, so can you. The third component to make attraction marketing work for you is to lead with value. I've mentioned it a couple of times already. That is important to lead with value for a few reasons. The main one being that you are helping people solve a problem, which immediately 
positions you as an authority, as someone who is willing to help other people. Because when you are providing value, you solve problem and you are of service, all of a sudden everyone can see that you are focusing on your audience rather than being self-centered, which is huge, huge. And that's what people love. Fourth component that makes attraction marketing so great, and in fact, attraction marketing linked with personal branding is that you can create multiple stream of income without having to, again, explain to anyone what is it that you're doing. So you can have, I always say to my clients, you have different tools in your toolbox at the back end of your brand. You've got your forefront brand, which you then lead with value, you provide value, you solve problem, you give some tips and techniques on your social media, you share some of your lifestyle posts as well. When you are then talking, attracting people in your world and having a consultation, a one-on-one -on -one beauty consultation or business consultation, whatever it is that you're serving people with, you can then pull out the right solution that is right for them. You can have many, many options that are creating many different uh, income streams, all the while building one brand. That is the beauty of doing that. That you know that each and every single week I'm giving you access to a PDF, a cheat sheet, a guide of some sort. The, because we just touched on personal branding, I wanna give you access to my personal branding, the four key element to personal branding guide that is going to share with you those elements that are really important in order for you to be positioned in the best way possible in your field. If you want to get access to this four key element personal branding guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent to your email box. If you're on my YouTube channel or any other platforms, you can check the description section around somewhere this video and you'll see there's a link that will take you back to the blog once you're there below this video, there's a massive yellow button that you cannot miss. You click it and you'll get the four key element to personal branding. The fifth component of attraction marketing when done well is that it attracts qualified leads. When you are sharing valuable content that is helping people with their problems, you're giving tips and techniques and you're also sharing some of yourself, your lifestyle, the behind the scene, people are going to come to you and ask you for questions. They'll be wanting what you already have. So you don't have much guess to do anymore. The conversation becomes more natural. And in fact, you are in a position of authority because you are now asking them, how can I help you? Rather than, would you, would you like to take a look into this? The sixth element of attraction marketing is really important. Listen carefully. This is something that some people miss out. They believe that they're going to go online, they're gonna make a post and everything's gonna happen. Actually, the leaders that are using attraction marketing are still actively building their audience. They are out there, they're connecting with people, they're networking in Facebook groups, in, on pages, on Instagram hashtags, whatever it takes, whatever platform they're using, they are actively prospecting people as well. It's not only waiting for people to come to us, especially if it's early stages and we haven't yet created that momentum, we still have to be active at building our audience. Very important. And the last element of attraction marketing is about cold calling. Let me tell you that it is not pretty. It is not nice for the receiver and the one that does it to chase cold call and try to convince to join, to buy, etc. I've been there, done that, got myself burnt out. Really not nice for anyone. What's great with attraction marketing is that you become rejection free, truly. It really is a business, a business strategy that helps you enjoy the process for you as well as make the lead, the prospect, your client enjoy the process as well. That is a strategy that made me reconnect with the joy and the desire of wanting to build my business even bigger. So in conclusion, the best thing you can do is to be yourself, as I was once told. 
I would just I would just add be of service to other people. That way you are removing yourself from the equation. You are audience centered rather than self centered. And that is going to attract more people to you and, and turn situations in your favor. And remember, I've got your back also with my personal branding, the four key element personal brand to personal branding guide, which is there to help you to position yourself as an authority figure in your field. If you wanna get access to this personal branding guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically to your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know what to do. You can share it with your fellow entrepreneurs, network marketers, makeup artists, whomever you believe would benefit from knowing about attraction marketing, what it is, how it works, what to do to make it work. Question of the week. Who is the audience that you've chosen to serve? Share with me in the comment section, who is it that you serve so I can help you with tailored examples when I do my trainings. And it's also nice to know who is it that you serve. If you don't know who it is that you serve, then give me a shout and I'll be happy to help you do so because that will give you much more clarity. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love connecting with you each and every single week. This video is a wrap, but I will see you on the next training. Bye-bye-bye.